Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over the leads function and some important things that you need to know when you're using the leads function in Maxima. Now, when you click on the leads function, right, it's going to show you the total leads of the current database that you have access to. OK, um, you know, new leads are updated every day. And the thing that you want to understand is that the more narrow you go with your filters, the less and less leads that you're going to get because you're getting more very specific type of leads, right? So if you ever encounter a situation where you get zero leads, then you need to step back and go up a level. That means you have to go a bit more general. So what do I mean by that? So if you watch the other leads video, you don't you know how to filter leads by going to the filter function right here and filtering one at a time. So going from very general to very specific. So let's do one where we're going to get zero leads. OK, I'm going to show you. So let's say I'm going to go to United States, right? OK, United States, OK, and then I hit search. OK, so when you do that, it narrows down, narrows down the number of leads that you're going to get. See, as you can see, the number of leads have got, have shrunken because instead of the whole world, now we're in the United States only, OK? Then let's say you want to filter even more and go even more narrow. Okay, so let's let's do a city. Okay, let's do Denver. Okay, and then I hit search. So from United States, now we have even less leads. Now we only have leads where the domain names and the registered businesses have been only been from Denver. Okay, so now we have six thousand, about six thousand leads from Denver. Now, let's say we want to even go even further down and narrow it even more okay so now we can go to specific keywords so let's say i want to do something very obscure let's say tennis okay and hit search so as you can see i got i am lucky that i actually got one lead for tennis okay so that's how you got to think about this so if you get only one lead then you want to go back and you want to go above, you want to go more general, so you get more leads, right? So I'm now back, I'm back to 6,000 for United States, Denver, okay? So let's say I want to, I don't know, use another keyword, okay? Maybe YouTube. Again, one lead. I'm, be, I'm being very lucky right now. I'm getting a lot of, uh, actually, one lead, right? Uh, let's say... Uh, Let's go for maybe not cat, maybe like flower. Okay, I want to show you an example of where you get zero leads. So you're not surprised. Okay, so see, as you can see, because I went so narrow and so very specific, my total leads is zero. And obviously, you don't want to be too narrow. So what do you do when you get into a too specific or narrow situation? Well, you want to go general. So what you do is you just click on your filter, you know, delete whatever you think. Uh, is causing it to be very specific. So I'm going to delete, in this case, the keyword, okay, and then go back to Denver. Uh, there's other ways you can make it more general. So let's say, for example, instead of the keyword, let's go, let me put back flower here, and I remove Denver. Let's see if that gives me results, right? So in this situation, instead of uh, just Denver, we're searching the whole of the United States, but the keyword, and we're getting 87 leads. So as you can see, you got to play around with how narrow and how specific you want to get. So let's let's say I want to go, um, I want to get more leads. So, but I want to still have, I still want to use the keyword flower. So instead of United States, maybe I'll just, you know, won't even select a country and just have the flower. So let's search for that. And as you can see, I have 200 leads now. So. Don't be discouraged if you try to be very specific and you get very l l limited number of leads. That's normal, right? You want to go then general. You want to go up your kind of like specificness and be less narrow. And if you become less narrow, less specific, you get more leads, right? And um, that's why we have these uh, filters here and we're telling people to use the filter uh, one by one so you can get the search function, the filter function to work properly.
And yeah, that's just what I wanted to say about the leads function and how it uh, kind of works in the background and how, how specific or narrow or how general you want to be in terms of what you're filtering. And uh, yeah, that's it. And I hope you guys use the tool um, and uh, you know use it as, as much as you can.